Hello guys, it is Itala Sunny, and today I am going to be doing what you guys suggested, and I am going to look at some of my old Facebook art and redraw it and improve it. The reason why the majority of the art I am going to be using for this series is going to be digital is because it's way harder to find older pieces of paper and keep them in pristine condition than it is to just look on something that will be on the internet forever on your old Facebook account. So, yay! Also, old me only had MS Paint and a mouse. I didn't have a drawing tablet, still don't, and I only had a mouse, and MS Paint was the only program I could use. I tried Fire Alpaca and Paint Tool Sai, but it was too difficult for me back then. So, let's start with drawing number one. We are going to be starting off with a Pokemon Fusion, because it's one of the many things I really like to do on MS Paint. So, this fusion is between Shaman and Glaceon, and it's called Shayon, even though it should have the E. It should have the E, so it should be Shayon. Anyway, I like the design of this Pokemon, but it's just the execution is kind of wonk, and it was made in MS Paint, so it looks really bad. And since I have the advantage of a very good program, I am going to make a very dynamic pose since I see all four legs, and the four legs just make me want to do something with them. They're just standing there, very staticky, not doing anything. So, yeah. So, here's a really quick speed paint, but in reality, it took me 56 minutes to finish. And so, here it is. I really like the colors and the shading and the lighting, and honestly, I think this is one of the best drawings I've done recently. Although, the back leg does look a little bit wonky, and I did have to redo it quite a few times. But the rest of the piece is so good. Although, I will admit the shading on the white fur barely comes up at all, but it is there, trust me. So yeah, I really like this. And this is the fully complete drawing with the background included. So, let's move on. If you couldn't tell, which I don't blame you, this is a FNAF drawing. And honestly, one of the most inspiring things for me as a young artist back then was FNAF. I just really loved FNAF so much that I wanted nothing more than to just draw the characters over and over again. But there's clearly many flaws with this character, so let's talk about that. The biggest thing that bothers me is its strange design, and I know exactly who it is because in the original drawing, it literally has gray text right next to it that says, it's Spring Bonnie, the unbroken version of Springtrap. So that just confuses me because there was already an official design for Spring Bonnie in FNAF World and it already existed. It would be strange for me not to know what FNAF World was, especially since my brother loved it so much. Maybe we just didn't get to the part where we collected Spring Bonnie yet? But regardless, why are the eyes green? It makes no sense. Why did I make them green? What? I, I don't understand why the eyes are green. Also, this is clearly based off of Golden Freddy, which is indicated by the black accessories. I just know for a fact because this was my drawing. But another question springs up. Why would he have a mic? Bonnies normally have guitars. Not everyone, but normally when they do have a prop, that's what they have. And normally the bears have microphones instead. Also, the proportions are whack as always, but the design is what gets me off the most. Like, black bow tie, black buttons, yellow fur, slightly darker accessory fur, and then these weird green eyes. I just don't understand what little me was thinking when designing this. Maybe it was my own personal design for Spring Bonnie? I don't know. But I think I'm just going to slightly edit the design and make it look even better. So that way I don't go insane. And I'm not going to say that it's Spring Bonnie anymore because its design is so far off that it clearly isn't. Firstly, I gave him a different name. Like I said, he isn't Spring Bonnie anymore. I will just call him Sunshine Bonnie. So Sunshine Bonnie has two different colored eyes and one of them is gray. I just think that's part of his design, and maybe his restaurant is somewhere in the country. Also, I let him keep the dark bow and dark buttons. So yeah, I did edit the fur color quite a bit, and now he has little paw pads that are the same color as his mouth. And his proportions are visibly wonky. 
and this was on purpose because the original was so wonky as well. I think that this was just some weirdly poorly made animatronic who's very southern. Like for example, the two eyes are clearly very different shapes and have very different eyeliner, and the cheek fluffs are clearly very differently structured, and the same with the ears, and then the arms are the wackiest thing of all. The waving arm appears to be bigger than the other arm, and it, it just looks weird. The arms look very weird and not right, but this was intentional. So, yeah, this is Sunshine Bonnie. I think that he's either in an alternate universe, or he's in one of the smaller locations that nobody really cares about that barely has anything bad that happens. So, yeah, let's move on to the final drawing for today's video. This character doesn't even have a name. I'm pretty sure it's from one of my failed Facebook comics about some high schoolers that were all anthropomorphic animals. I don't know. She looks more like a cat to me, but I just put random wolf girl because that's what I thought of at the time. Her design at best is interesting, and as I've said before, MS Paint is really bad, and it was especially bad for a beginning artist just starting digital art. As you can see, the proportions are really bad, but I plan to fix that in my new drawing. Also, I didn't like the blue, so I removed it. And so, here is my final test of improvement for today. I decided to make my outlines thicker for the new one, just to make them look even more different. Also, the purple I used for the jacket, I also used for the background. I just went for a very simple drawing this time, and I also added shading and highlights because that's something I couldn't do in MS Paint, which I'm glad I can do today. I also added a bit more hair and a bit more character to her. She looks a little bit shy instead of just soulless, you know? I also made the scarf black because I didn't like the original blue for the scarf. So, yay! So, while the design just looks a little bit better, the colors are questionable, and to me, the lime green is a little bit too much, but hey, my quality has improved a lot over the years, and so has my art. I'm happy with today's art. Although the wolf is a little bit rushed, I think everything else is fine, and everything does look okay in my opinion. But anyway, Thank you guys for watching, and have a good morning, night, afternoon, whatever time it is when you're watching this, and just have a good time. Goodbye!